Let's get this show on the road, shall we? This is Dane Scott from Dane Scott's Truckers Lounge. I want to thank all you new subscribers because uh, a lot of you are coming on board. I appreciate that. Uh, keep watching for the old school trucking content. Going to get a little uh, maintenance done. On Brutus Big Dog. Yep, time to get a little uh, polishing done. Just touch up. I'm gonna touch these puppies up with some aluminum polish. Got her out today and got my big trailer moved all the way back. Got the excavation done, the driveway supported there so we could get that out of the way. So since I got it out, I think I'm gonna take a night run tonight, which I'll take you along with me on that, do a little night riding. I love to uh, drive the truck at night because that's how I remember uh, riding along with the guy that uh, took me with him to Boston to get fresh fish in his K100. He used to take me with him. I got a treat here. Somebody really blessed me. One of my customers I do graphics for his truck. I was talking about how I need fenders uh, put on the truck and he says, hey, I got one out there in the shed. You can have it. So look at this. Brand spanking new, grooved, uh, polished aluminum, one side fender, free of charge. So all I got to do is find the, uh, the match to it, which I can. I've already found a place that'll supply it. The only problem is... I ain't paying their ungodly freight charges, so I'm going to find the closest place and I'm going to drive and pick it up. They wanted uh, hundreds, almost $400 to ship one of those, which is ridiculous. I refuse to be robbed, so uh, I'll find the closest place and I'll drive and pick it up. So, so uh, right now we're going to get a little polishing done. And once I get these looking a little better, I'll be back at you. This is what I would not call loads of fun. I mean, I like the result. But I don't like the labor. And I know there's guys that would do this. But it's not that hard. You can't shine your own stuff. You shouldn't be driving. Right? Tell the difference between these two, but I sure can. That one's got like a mist or haze on it. I haven't gotten to it yet. We're getting there. And not too bad for the hand touch up. Tanks a lot of work, but I did, you can tell, I did do some buffing on this, but man, does it really need a good machine buff. A little bit, but it definitely wears you out. So hey, you too could get awesome results by hand. Okay, since it's dusk, I think we're gonna take us a ride. Nice summer night. Got a little bit of shine going on on them wheels. Brutus Big Dog's looking good, running good. I love this time of night. As it gets to be nighttime, reminds me when I was a kid. The guy that turned me on to trucking he used to take me in his K100 to Boston, down to the docks. He got fresh fish, had a nice reefer. A 72 K100 in the BJ and the Bear. Red, white, black, with the gold pinstriping paint scheme, even before BJ and the Bear was thought. 1972, that was, that was before the show. So that paint scheme predated that. Because he had it. So I think uh, we're going to blow this popsicle stand and go for a ride. 
Okay, we're gonna use the GoPro now. It's got a little wider view on it. I know it's a little more rounded of a look, but I get a lot more in on the GoPro. Getting pretty full. Everybody needs to sleep for the night. So across the street is Love's. Their fuel is 358, 363, and here it just is. Uh, it's 349. It doesn't matter whether it's credit or cash. Oh, got a couple of the county police here. I don't know what's up with that. I can hear that chug, chug, chug. And you? 
It don't sound like any other truck out here. up a new atlas inside there in the age of GPS we still need our roadmaps got to have them roadmaps you never know when you're gonna need it Lights are working. Yeah, I told them guys if I see somebody panhandling, I'll let them know. Next time, keep the hammer down, safe and sound.